Welcome back guys to part 4 of Building Sahara, the tutorial series where we go and dissect the entirety of Sahara and recreate it and do a tutorial on it so that everyone can build this for themselves should they wish. There's lots of explosion craters around here, I'm not sure why that was over there but we don't really need to talk about that. And yes, yeah, so right here is the storefront of Sahara. Now let's explain how this got into my world first before we start the tutorial. So what I did was I went into the Hermitcraft Season 6 World Download and I used a hacked client to copy the files and like make the blocks go into this world. And I hacked it in this world and it was super amazing. Okay, it, it wasn't that dramatic. It, it involved a structure block and I was able to shift around the structure block files to bring the files into this world. And I was able to load all of the redstone for this at once back here. Which meant that I then was at my leisure to dissect everything back here for about three hours. I was able to clean it up, I was able to remove redundant redstone, I was able to remove redundant blocks, and anything else like that. And then I color coded all the water streams, and I also color coded every circuit here. Meaning, this is actually really simple for us to build, and it probably looks a lot less complicated outside of the cave that it was built in in Mumbo's and Iskal's videos because it's straight up just underground in that world and it's extremely messy and difficult to see but here it should be quite easy and plain to see. I also removed the circuitry that was for the Sahara jackpot thingy I did not want to include that so I removed the circuitry for that that just made it a little bit similar, a little bit simpler as well so we're not going to be covering that and let's actually demonstrate this because this does work and it works completely well there's one thing that doesn't work and that's just because uh, I have not hooked up this water stream which is the empty shulker box output I have not hooked that up yet but it's not because it doesn't work I just haven't done that we'll be doing that in the actual tutorial this is a demonstration of this because right here I'm going to be duplicating this with a structure block I'm going to be loading this so like a hundred blocks in that direction and then we're going to be actually building all of this again in this spot. But this time, I'll be showing you guys how to build it. So if we come down here and we chuck in a diamond, you know, the diamond is going to do its thing. And we should get that first light lighting up soon. Yep, the first light has lit up there. And pretty soon the order will have arrived at the warehouse or somewhere near the warehouse over there. Yep, that means that it's being processed. Oh, the receipt has been sent out because that's what triggers that light and momentarily if we go over here we should have the shulker box come through ah yes the shulker box has arrived with 16 diamonds in it and right here is the receipt for 16 diamonds and if we go down here the shulker box just came out of this to and it normally would have gotten put back in this chest here, but because it's not hooked up yet, uh, it did not. This area over here is still working just fine. I've tested it quite extensively. Right now, I'm just constantly running the minecart to refill all the shulker boxes, which is taking forever. But I'm just working on getting all of them refilled because the way this is supposed to work is that if every single one of these modules is completely filled with shulker boxes, when you send a shulker box out and you take the items out of the shulker box, the shulker box only has one available spot to go back to, so it's just automatically going to go back to the module that's missing one because that's where it came from. So it's actually just really simple and it's just logic basically. And if we were to put in a slime block here, and then we'll wait for this. I'm actually going to show you what's happening back here. That slime block is being sent out along this line here. It's going around, it activates that, which is what activates the second lamp. So the second lamp will turn on. And somewhere down here when the receipt comes out, it may have actually already come out probably, yep. That will have activated the third lamp. There goes the receipt along that path. And that just goes into that hopper line and the shulker box arrives here. Which activates the fourth lamp. There it goes. And the shulker box sits right here. And now we're free to take these items out. And that's just going to reset. That's our receipt right here for 32 slime blocks and there goes a shulker box excellent so now you've seen this in action we're going to be building this ourselves let me just do a little bit of stuff here to get this area ready and we'll be right back 
But also guys, if you enjoyed this type of content and want to see more of it, then consider leaving a like and subscribing with notifications on so as not to miss out on future videos. I upload about three times a week and it's usually redstone tutorials. And also while you're at it, you can come join the Discord server. The link is in the description. We have 99 members. One more member will bring us to 100, at least at the time of recording this. And thanks again for all the support and now let's continue on with the video. Well, now I have this over here. And this over here, and a bunch of disconnected pipes and lines and stuff, which we'll be reconnecting. But before we start on that area over there, I need to talk a little bit about what's going on here. So, in the past three episodes, we worked on this, and so the first thing, you have to take a water stream output off of this top line here. And I'll explain what it runs into later on, but just so you know, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to take um, an input here and run it into this decoder system water stream, which is this. And I'll explain more of this later as well. And this down here has to come up from an additional bit of redstone that has to be added to this bottom spot here. So you can see down here we have a line of slabs and it just has redstone on top of it. This is just to detect whenever these decoders are sent and it will do stuff sort of in the control area that we'll get to later and you just put it right um place the slabs right here like that and then you just have repeaters whenever you need them but you don't want to put repeaters directly parallel with these decoder systems so only put repeaters in the gaps so we're not going to worry about these other decoders because we have all of two modules actually set up to do something interesting here so we're not going to be using the rest of these decoders or modules in this tutorial and I'll talk more about this later as we go but that's what you need to know about that for now and here I have the four light indicators and they are placed exactly as they were in the original thing that I had here which is now moved over here and that's going to be our starting point for this entire thing and you can see here that I have it completely color coded and the first system we're going to be starting with is the orange system and it's what comes directly off of these redstone lamps here so wherever you have your four lamps is where you're going to want to start this thing everything is going to be based off these four lamps now they're positioned in a very specific spot here in this world so that everything lines back up with these lines that i already have connected to the actual sahara warehouse over here so that's the reason for that but you could honestly build a building this part first might not be a terrible idea when you're building the entire thing because you will have to connect up two redstone lines and four water streams to the controller from the actual warehouse. So there's a lot of stuff that gets connected up here. So to start things off, we're going to have just our orange wool down here. And I'd actually really recommend building this with different colors of wool or concrete because it'll make it so much simpler. And then we're going to have wool down here with some comparators on it. And then we're going to have a line of droppers like this we're gonna attempt to hold shift and space at the same time my fingers don't like to do that and then we're gonna go over here and have another line of droppers like that and now their droppers are facing into each other just like this and then on the back here we're gonna have a line of additional wool or whatever blocks you choose if it's concrete but I would strongly strongly recommend using different colors uh, torches need to go down there you'll hear clicks from the droppers when you do that and now you're going to want to take one of just any item. You're going to place one in each of these droppers here. And so once you've done that, that's actually what will turn on the lights and turn off the lights. So let's go continue the orange circuit. And by continue, I mean we're going to be actually just completely done with it. So you're going to want to go down a block from this first torch here. And you're going to go two blocks out. You're going to place a repeater set to four ticks like that and then you can put redstone there and you're going to extend this out in this direction and put redstone on all that and then you're also going to have a go out two blocks here put redstone there and then put a repeater there now from right here we're going to be going down uh, about five blocks or something and you're going to have it alternating like that and you're going to be placing redstone torches just like this and you're going to go up a block and place a torch like that and then you're going to place a block on top of that we'll deal with that in a moment but if we come down here we're going to be placing in a block down here with a repeater set to the one tick setting like that. And then you're going to get packed ice and place it there. And then you're going to get a pressure plate and place a pressure plate on top of that. So now items that flow across here because this is on a water stream will trigger a pulse here. 
And now up here we're going to be placing another block and then we're going to place also a block over there and we're going to place a torch there and then a torch up there. And then we're going to get some slabs and we're going to have a total of five slabs running across the top of this. And now this can actually be reset when the empty shulker box goes across this pressure plate. It will trigger this and it will reset these items once, well, these items are in here because eventually all four items in each of these will be put into this front dropper which will trigger the lamps but then doing that will reset it so that's how that works and that is most of the green circuit now from here we go down two blocks like this with redstone on each of them and then we go down a block on this side add one there and then two here then we're going to have a 3x4 platform just like that. Now we're going to take a comparator, place a comparator right there facing in that direction, and then two repeaters each set to the 4 tick setting coming off of that. And over here we're going to have redstone, then we're going to put just a repeater there, and we're going to be putting redstone like that on that side. And now we're going to get a dropper, and we're going to place a dropper right there. And actually this dropper is going to be facing straight up like that, and it's going to have another block next to it. And now we're going to need to get some hoppers. And we're going to take five hoppers and they're going to be five hoppers coming out in a line from this dropper like this. And then right here you're going to have a dropper face, or not dropper, you're going to have a hopper facing in that hopper and then a hopper like that. And this is actually the 2 by 2 little area that we're going to cover with some carpet, which is where you input items into this thing. And that's basically the actual input for Sahara right there, done. And so now from right here... We can place ice and make an ice pathway all the way over to right here and it's going to connect up to this. And now let's talk a little bit about this because this is where the items that you put in to Sahara to be decoded to send out shulker boxes go. And sometime before you get to the warehouse you're going to need to have a wooden pressure plate and it's going to need to have a formation like this off of the ice where it goes down a block and you have a repeater and then you have redstone going off of it and that redstone line is going to go back and it's going to be what turns on the second lamp but we'll get to that in a little bit but you are going to have to put something like this it's super easy to build uh just as a quick demonstration up here it's just a wooden pressure plate you have the pressure plate there and then uh let me get this light blue wool you would go down blocks like this repeater redstone and then you take that line back however you need to get it to an input that we're going to be doing shortly here but now we're going to just need to actually create a border around this with glass. We're color coding the glass as well. You don't have to color code the glass. It's less essential for building this, but it is. it doesn't hurt to color code it. And also this is going to be where we start the light blue line here or the light blue circuit. So now that we have glass surrounding this, we can go ahead and place in our water stream. So we're going to place in water there. And we're just going to be putting in pressure plates and then water all the way down this. And that's going to flow all the way right to there. Now that one input is connected to Sahara or the rest of the warehouse. So let us continue on with the light blue circuit. The light blue circuit is fairly small. And so we're going to start by going right here. And we're going to be placing two blocks like that, then two more. Then we're going to go in a block and then in two blocks like this. And now this can run all the way down till we meet up with this and then we're going to be getting some repeaters and redstone and here we're going to place a repeater set to the four tick setting then redstone then repeater set to four ticks and then just redstone here and now if we go from this line we can let's see let's add 15 i think we're going to need yeah just a repeater there and we're just going to set it also to the four tick setting but here, this is the line that is basically comes from this little uh, pressure plate here. So, actually, we can just demonstrate this. If we step on this pressure plate. That's going to turn on the second lamp here. Yep, see, there goes the second lamp. And then if we step on this pressure plate down here, that'll disable the lamp or it'll reset it. So, that's where this blue line comes from. And that turns on the second lamp here. So, that's actually the light blue circuit all done. Now, let's continue on with the white circuit and now this white circuit is going to well it's not necessarily a circuit it's more just a white redstone line it's gonna go here so we're gonna have three that come out and then we're gonna add an additional six in this direction before we go in and then we just have a straight line that runs parallel to this redstone line here and we're gonna connect this up as well 
But first we need to add in a bunch of redstone repeaters here and those are going to be set to the four tick setting. Let's see if there's any more I cannot remember. There are a lot of repeaters here. It looks like there's four additional set to the four tick setting. Okay. So that's going to be four ticks, four ticks, four ticks, and four ticks. I reset that by accident. We're going to have redstone here, and then we're just going to connect these lines up, making sure to have 15 redstone in between it. And there we go. So now this white line is connected, and this white line is coming from all the way down here. And if we follow this down, this is what is connected to that line of slabs with redstone on top of it that I mentioned before. So that's what that does. And this line is pretty much just for visual indication. It doesn't do anything else aside from turning on the third lamp. So if we could, if we manually trigger that by just like getting a button and doing that, that's going to turn on the third lamp and it isn't connected to anything else in the system. See, there goes the third lamp and we'll just reset it by going down here. And also when dealing with these redstone lines here, you're going to have to connect the redstone lines here to any of these other modules that you have. Like in this case, all four of them would need to be connected up to this one line here and have it go in that direction. So you'd either need to have it go underneath these water streams or have it go above these water streams. It looks like underneath is probably going to be a more viable option here. So yeah, you're just going to have to do one of the two. And I would just... um. It's probably more up to you, depending on your circumstance and where all this stuff is in relation to each other. So, yeah, you're just going to have to have these redstone lines connected up and, like, brought around over here. So, it's not too hard, but I'm only going to have this one line here active because we don't really need to use the other lines in this tutorial. And now we have actually three of these inputs done. And the first one that actually turns on the first lamp actually just comes from down here and it's from this line right here it's taken off of this uh dropper so we actually have three of these lamps connected up to various systems now now if we come over here we can go down a block like this and have a three by three of magenta wool here and we're going to be placing in comparator there and a repeater over there like that and this is actually going to need to be a block out like this so we're going to have a three by three of wool here with a repeater or a comparator there we're gonna have a repeater right there repeater there and then this is all gonna be redstone like this and we're gonna have a magenta wool block there and we're gonna get a dropper and place it like that and then ice is gonna come down a block like this and it's going to extend out and it'll connect up to here because we're building the magenta water stream which is also gonna be the shulker box uh, returning system which has to make it all the way over to this chest somehow or other and I need to actually keep filling this with shulker boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this ice path all the way in a straight line until we reach about, yeah, right here. And this is honestly just going to vary for wherever you build. This is going to be specific to where you build your Sahara and like where the two parts are in relation to each other. So you're not going to be able to follow this exactly. You're just going to have to be able to build a water stream that takes it where it needs to go. Alright, there we go. We have a water stream here, and like I said, it's specific to where these are placed in relation to each other, so this is going to look different on your world if you build this, than unless you exactly copy the placement of mine, but that should do the trick and return shulker boxes that are empty out and put, just put it back there. So now we're going to be working on the purple system over here, which is probably the most convoluted and complicated and al although red's pretty complicated as well but you know what we'll figure it out so from the start block here you're going to put a torch there and then you're going to get a piece of purple wool above that place a torch and then a block there and then we're going to have a repeater there and then this is going to go up like that it's going to go down like that and we're going to have redstone there and then we're going to have a block up there and a block down here with a repeater set just like that and then we're going to have another block over there and so down here, we're going to go down two blocks like that. And then we're going to go down another block and an additional four blocks out. So redstone's going to go there. And then we're going to get a redstone repeater and place it just like that on that side. Now from right here, we're going to have a sticky piston facing downward. with a block above it and then a block out here with a repeater on it like that. And we're going to put some wool there. Now there's a small part here that may be redundant, but I cannot figure it out if it is or not yet. So if we figure out that, that is redundant later like this whole part here 
then we can remove that. But for now, we're just going to include it because it's not like a very big deal at the moment. And then we're going to have a block here like this. And then we're going to go down and have a block down there. And then we're going to put a note block up there. And so here we're going to go down a block. And then we're going to go up a block like this. And we're going to be having a piece of redstone there. And then a repeater right there set to a four tick setting. And then down here, we're going to go down a block and have two blocks. And there's going to be a um, repeater here set to four ticks. And then a piece of redstone right there. And now right here we're going to have an extra two blocks, one coming out from here and then to there. Now I'm not quite sure if this is redundant or not yet and there's a chance that we could remove some portion of this after we're done building. I actually realize these are reversed. This is supposed to be the repeater down here and this is supposed to be the redstone dust. So that's fixed. Now we're going to have a block up there and a block over here. And there's going to be a repeater right there set to just the default tick setting. And then we're going to go out a little bit like that and place some redstone there and all that should light up and should remain lit like that so i actually just determined that this system right here is not needed because it was part of the uh jackpot system which uh, i already took out the circuitry down there and so i'm not sure how much of this to take out i think i'm just going to remove everything here and this is just stuff we're not going to build we're going to remove this stuff that shouldn't affect any of this other stuff, which I believe still needs to be like that. So I think I'd actually built this over here. Yeah, we're going to remove the parts of this that we had. So the only part that you're going to want to keep of that is this redstone torch here on a block that's a little bit away from that. So that actually makes us simpler because we just don't need that now. And instead we can focus our efforts onto this stuff over here. So right here we're going to go down two blocks and have... A total of uh, let's see two blocks there and then a block over there so four like that and then we're gonna have redstone there and then we're gonna have a repeater facing that way set to the four tick setting and actually make that two repeaters set to the four tick setting and we're gonna go up like this and then we're gonna go up another block but now we have to get I think we need a dropper and a hopper and we're gonna need to place them there so right here we're gonna have a dropper facing outward and then a hopper facing into it we're going to have a redstone comparator facing off of that. And I believe that right here we're going to have one item that just, just sits in there and will get affected by the signal. So let us continue on. And now right here we're going to have a dropper facing downward and a dropper facing straight up into that. Dropper facing downward like that. And we're going to place in just one item into there. And then down here we're going to have two blocks out like this. We're going to put a repeater, or not a repeater, but a comparator right there. And we're going to have wool underneath that. And now, actually, we don't need the block out here. We need a block below and above like that. And with that piece of redstone there and those two final purple wool blocks, we are done with the purple circuit, which is one of two difficult circuits and complicated circuits in this thing. Now, let's carry on with the red circuit because the red circuit is directly connected to the purple at least it appears to be right here so yeah that's what we have to do now this is the part that controls the shulker box little thing here where it puts out the shulker box and then breaks it when there's nothing in the shulker box so yeah let's sort this out so right here we're gonna have two red wool blocks coming off of this and then we're gonna go down we're gonna have a repeater set to the default tick setting or the one tick setting right there we're gonna have a block right here then out here we're going to have another block with a comparator like this actually this needs to go in that direction i believe and right here we're going to add a few more blocks like this we're going to add a comparator facing that way and then a repeater facing that way and then right here we're going to have a dropper facing that direction with a hopper facing into it and we're going to have just one block inside that dropper right there and actually, we're going to go down a block here. We're going to punch out that one there. We're going to replace it with some redstone dust. And we're going to go down a block like this with a repeater. And we're going to set it to the four tick setting. And we're going to place a block there. And then right here, we're going to have a redstone torch on it like that. So we're going to place a block above that. And then we're going to add a three in a line like that. We're going to have a torch there and three dust. And here, we're going to have another block with a repeater on it. So right here off this comparator, we're going to have... A dispenser facing outward and we're gonna have a dropper or a hopper above it like that 
and we're going to put three blocks up there and we're going to extend those, some blocks out like that and then we're going to get a block and put it up here and put it in the middle as well so off this back block here we're going to have a torch like that and here we're going to have a repeater set to one tick and then here we're going to have a comparator facing that way and then here we're going to have a repeater repeater and blocks here like that and then have another block there and some redstone on top of those blocks up there so right here we're gonna add two more blocks like that and we're gonna have a repeater right there set to the default tick setting and then we're gonna go down here for four blocks like that off this torch and on these two blocks here you're gonna have a repeater set to one tick and you're gonna put some redstone dust on those blocks there and then you're gonna have a block back here as well and then back here we're gonna have two blocks each one with a repeater like that and then we're gonna have two blocks up here some redstone dust and then let's see right up here here I believe we're gonna have actually no one block down we're gonna have a block with a redstone torch on it like that actually that's not true that's gonna be up here instead we're gonna have that torch up there and we're gonna have a block over here and redstone dust on top of that just like so so right here off of this dispenser we're gonna have two blocks and each one's gonna have two repeaters set to the four tick setting then a block right here like that and then redstone on top of those two blocks and so up here we're going to have a block in the middle like that, a block down there, and a block down there. And this block right here is going to have a repeater set to the 4 tick setting. And over here is going to have a comparator, and it's going to be facing some stuff that we're going to put in a moment. But first we need to take some other miscellaneous blocks of just uh, whatever color you feel like. They have to be solid though, and you're going to get a sticky piston. I actually already have a sticky piston. You're going to get a slab as well. You're going to place it on the bottom of that sticky piston. That is the removal mechanism for the shulker boxes once they are empty. It's almost done, but not quite. We need a little bit more. For one thing, we need to go down here, place a block, and then place a torch on that. Then we need to get the dropper and have it facing up and a hopper above it. And then we're going to put a miscellaneous item into there. And now that's the red circuit fully completed but now we have several more to do we have the yellow circuit to do and we have more of the white circuit that needs finishing but before we do that we're actually going to be going over here to the magenta circuit and adding two actually no three uh hoppers facing off of it and then we're going to add two to this side and we're going to put a chest like that right there and then actually this chest needs to be rotated and then we're going to be having two hoppers off it like that and then we're going to place one facing into it and two coming off just like that as well and then we need to put in a hopper right here and that is actually the collection system for returned and empty shulker boxes so now that's the shulker box system pretty much completed except for the water streams that take it here you're going to place a block right there you're going to place a repeater on top of that block and then you're going to go up a block like this and then we're going to go over in a total of six blocks like this all this is going to have redstone dust on top of it like so then we're going to go over to dust on all those blocks. So now you're going to need to go down a block and then out three. And then we're going to have a block in between and three blocks over there as well. And then we're going to put a redstone repeater there. We're going to have redstone dust there and there. And we're going to have redstone there. And right here we're going to have two redstone repeaters set to the four tick setting. Then out here we're going to have more blocks like this. And then we're going to go up like that and then down and then up again. And then we're going to go down again like this. And we're going to have a block here, but then we're also going to put a block there. So we're going to put redstone there and then a repeater set to four ticks there, repeater set to four ticks there, repeater set to four ticks there. And the same for these other blocks here as well. And also I should mention that I did not put this in earlier. You need to put in an extra wool or an extra purple wool block right here and it needs to have a repeater set to four ticks on it like that and that will actually trigger the fourth lamp like that and also over here a few things I didn't realize is you actually have to have a block right here a solid block there and then down here you have to put a block in this area with a repeater on it not a repeater a comparator Oh, those are both repeaters. You have to have that there facing toward that block. And over here, the item in here actually has to be a non-stackable item. In this case, a wooden shovel. It doesn't have to be a wooden shovel. It just has to be non-stackable. So you're going to want to swap that out. 
But now right here, we're going to go down a block like that and put some ice in. Then we're going to have six blocks of ice coming out like that before we go into. And then we just bring the ice all the way over to here like that. And we connect up these ice paths. I'll explain what they do momentarily. And then if we go over here, we're going to want to do a similar thing, just leaving a block of gap in between that at all times. And this ice path needs to be connected up. And then let's see, we're going to need yellow stained glass, yellow stained glass, because we're going to be color coding this still. And so this side here, we're going to make a yellow stained glass. And this is going to be the item stream that takes full shulker boxes that are coming from the warehouse. And it basically just sends them along and puts them over there in the unloader. And then on this side, we're going to have white stained glass, because this is where the receipts are coming from. We're just going to bring this around like that. And then in the middle here, we just have the normal glass because they're adjacent and we can't color code the middle, obviously, for both of them. So, yeah, but now we're going to need to add some more ice on this side. Let me figure out just how much. So here we just added eight extra blocks of packed ice. You can see that we have eight there and we're going to have our yellow stained glass here. And then we need to get in some soul sand. I don't even know why I had that obsidian on me. We're going to get soul sand and place soul sand there. And then we're going to continue our glass here like that. And we're going to have a bubble vader going up two full blocks before we have more ice. So more ice would be right here like that. And then this needs to go up obviously more around it. We need our pressure plate right here. And then we can surround that and we'll bring that out over there. And this ice, you just need to bring this ice all the way down in a straight line until you get to right there. And then... Over here we need to have some more glass, although that actually might be an exterior wall. So it might be something different, but you just need to have some blocks there like that. And then you need to bring this glass down to the edge here on both of these sides, like so. And then we need to get ourselves some water, and we're actually going to need to get a pressure plate as well. So right on this block line here, you're going to go down a block like this. And then you're going to get a repeater, put it over there like that. Then bring this redstone down, or not this redstone, but this wool down until you get to right there. And when you're directly under the ice, you're going to have it go up, and then you're going to have it go down again. And then you're just going to place redstone on top of all of this like that. And right here on this ice that's directly above that, you're going to place a pressure plate. And that's going to actually be what activates the fourth lamp when items or shulker boxes come along here. Now we can just go ahead and get our water elevator, our bubble vader, just like that. We can put a cap on it. And then over here, we're going to do that. We're going to put a pressure plate there. And that's that completed. So that's where shulker boxes come through. And now I just need to fill in the rest of these water streams or the rest of this water stream. So I'm just going to do that and I'll be right back. All right. So this water stream is filled in. I'm going to talk about where this one comes from now. So this one comes straight out of the warehouse and it's just connected to all of these water streams here that all the shulker boxes would come through so any shulker boxes are just going to come from these other i guess how many is that that's one two three four yeah four different rows of water streams connect into here and then they go up this water column then they go along this water stream and then they're going to go here and into that unloader right there or i guess that holding area is not really an unloader but now let's finish up this area so we're gonna need this to come out how many additional blocks of ice let's find out here actually first we're gonna do a quick thing over here you're gonna have three more blocks of wool there and then three more there that's gonna be redstone dust and then we're gonna get some repeaters that's gonna be four ticks three ticks and two ticks and then you're gonna get iron blocks like this and then we're going to get note blocks and put them up there and those note blocks need to be set to what notes do they need to be this needs to be 17, 7, and 9. All right. Let's go over there and configure those note blocks. All right. 17, 7, and 9. So that will play the correct tune now. Now we can actually add 15 blocks of packed ice onto this water stream from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. And we're going to get ourselves our white stained glass. Bring this out like here. And we're just going to bring both of these this side now. And then we're going to come out a block, have a little shoot like that. And then down here, we're going to actually have 
let's see hoppers hoppers I don't have hoppers we're gonna have a big line of hoppers and we're gonna need a total of 16 hoppers counting this one in a line so that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and this will actually be the sixteenth and why did some of those place downward all these are supposed to place forward except for the very final one which is supposed to go downward so that's kind of annoying and then we're gonna have three additional ones that go down although the third one is actually gonna be facing in this direction like that and then we're gonna have an extra five of them like this so that would be one two three four five all right and then now from here we're gonna have an extra four going this way and let's see so one two three four that one needs to change and face in that direction and then from here we're gonna have six of them going out like this so that's enough room for six so now we can put in six hoppers all facing it this way and this one needs to change the rotation so that that faces into that okay that's all good now we can get two droppers we're gonna have a dropper here and here and then we're gonna get some white wool to finish off the white circuit and we're gonna place uh, six of it like that we're gonna have a repeater there we're gonna get a comparator place it there we're gonna get redstone place that like that and we're gonna get an observer and place it there and an observer and place it there facing in that direction now if we put any items in that's gonna get sent out the top like that and that's what's gonna happen to receipts once you receive them but now we have one final circuit and it's the blue circuit and it's the smallest one out of all of them and it's basically the final one we have to build we're so close to finishing this is really cool and we'll get to test it and I am 99% sure it's going to work first try. Probably jinxed myself, but you never know. We'll see. So you're going to have wool right here, wool right there, and of the blue variety. I'm going to place some wool there, place some wool above it like that. And we're going to get ourselves some torch. We're going to get redstone torch, place it there. Get our comparator, place it there, and get redstone and place it all like that. And then we're going to get more hoppers. We're going to have a hopper facing into that, like so. You're going to get a shulker box, or it could just be a chest. It doesn't really matter. You're going to place that up there, and here we're going to have, let's see, let's get 40 and place it here. Then we can put two diamonds in there, and any additional diamonds will now flow down from there. So if we were to do that, that's going to make it all the way down there, which is good. Now we need to do some weird stuff here. We need to get a hopper over there facing that way and then a hopper facing into it and this hopper needs to go like that and face into that hopper then we need to get blue wool there blue wool there and then an extra four like that we can get the comparator place a comparator there get the repeater and place that there and we can get some wool that can be set to one tick and then we'll get wool going down and then over here we're gonna get an emerald block and we're gonna get a note block and let me figure out what this note block is set to. This note block is set to 16. Okay. And I may have actually placed this wrong. Uh, yeah, I placed this wrong. This needs to be up here. And we'll set that to 16. Now, whenever you put any diamonds in here, that's going to trigger that every time it counts a diamond. Alright, excellent. This thing, I think, is actually done. I think we completed it. Now for the final test and to see if Sahara is working. Alright, what happens if we put a diamond there? If we put a diamond there, we should get the first lamp turning on. There goes the first lamp, there goes the diamond, that'll go over a pressure plate over there and that'll turn on that redstone signal. We'll get that lamp turning on. We should get the third one turning on pretty shortly here. Yep, we have the third one on and soon we should see the receipt coming and we have the shulker box coming and now the shulker box is going to go up there and the fourth lamp turned on and then it turns off and if we look down here the receipt should be arriving momentarily unless i messed up on the hoppers that's entirely possible that i actually made one of the hoppers not work let me let me check real quick here Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. We didn't actually put the rest of the water in here. 
That would explain where the receipt is. The receipt is over there. Okay. So, it's still going to be a successful test. I just forgot to put the rest of the water in. So, as we put this water in the receipt, we'll get pushed down in this direction and it'll be all good. So, now that got picked up by the hopper. Now, if we go over here and we wait for a moment, we should see the receipt coming out here. And any moment now. Come on. Do it. Yes. The receipt for 16 diamonds so we open this up we take out the diamonds that'll get squished this is gonna go here and now we have this and now that goes into there awesome and now that just goes out and that returns the shulker box okay one final test here 32 slime blocks will we get 32 slime blocks first lamp on I see the slime going out over there the second lamp should be on momentarily. There goes the second lamp. And the third lamp should be on soon as well. There's the third one. We should be seeing items very soon going through. There goes the receipt. It's actually going to make it all the way this time. There goes the shulker box. The receipt is probably already in the system. The shulker box is coming up. There goes the little indicator. The light turns on. Then the lights turn off. We get the receipt. Come on. There goes the receipt. 32 slime blocks 32 slime blocks and there that goes and now it's gonna go out there oh my gosh successful test I think so we don't talk about the water being gone because that was not an error in the system there's an error on my part and there goes the shulker box we're just gonna actually load this up real fast well everyone I'd say that is a successful test of Sahara and the successful tutorial this is what sahara looks like apparently with no actual exterior like in that area so it looks a lot different but i think it looks pretty good um it, it was the hardest part honestly was just trying to figure out everything like it was it was complicated here i had to clean out a ton of redundant stuff i may have missed some things that there's it's hard to tell my few suspects are a little bit of this purple stuff especially down here it could be a little bit redundant, and if it is, then I guess I missed that. That's unfortunate, but I already removed a bunch of extra redundant stuff. And I was able to get it to a pretty simplified state, if I do say so myself, especially with all these color-coded circuits and everything, which is really helpful. That made all the difference for me, actually being able to make this tutorial. It would have been a lot harder if I had not color-coded them. Well, that's the end of our four-part series on building Sahara. Who knows, maybe I'll make a version 2 of Sahara now that I know a decent amount about how this version of it works. Maybe we can improve upon the design. I'm not sure. I'm just going to probably be playing around here even after I'm done with this video. But I need to go edit this video. It's going to be long. <laughs> I don't know how long. Hopefully not like an hour. Either way, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe with notifications on so as not to miss out on content like this in the future. And also consider hitting that like button so that YouTube knows that you enjoyed this. And you can also come join my Discord server, the link will be down in the description below. And if you want to support me on Patreon, you can head over there and get access to a private Minecraft survival server for $5 a month. But I've been Speed Guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Bye.